Hey guys, it's been a while. Um, I posted a video the other day, but apparently it didn't upload, so I'm going to upload it again. Um, it was really honestly just discussing how it was with a cracked denture and a implant infection. Um, so I'll make sure I put this up, um, or pick, put the other video up. Uh, so y'all can learn more about that. Now, I'm going to let y'all know that they fixed it. Everything was great. And then my uh, infection is gone. Um, what had happened was apparently I had developed an infection in the top part of my gum. And um, the gum grew back over it. Well, now that I started taking antibiotics, um, my gum is back down and my implant sticking out. So, now, tomorrow I go and get fitted with my jig which is the the um try in I guess to make sure that the thing that they made will fit with my implants um and then if it does then they will make my bar now that will take three weeks to make that titanium bar kind of a waiting period um and then if that fits they'll um do another impression for a new lower and then from then on out i'm probably good um we will see uh but you know things have been going rather well um uh not really had an issue with fit i do kind of get some air bubbles in the top um but it's not something that you know i'm throwing a fit about or anything tomorrow i'll just have them add a little bit more reline to it and we'll be good um lower staying in a little bit more um, I'm able to eat, um, don't really have an issue. Um, it'll come loose, but I'll just kind of keep eating and, um, just push through it. That, that is honestly the only way I have got through any of this is I just have to push through it. Um, that's something if you're looking at having dentures, even if you're looking at having to have partials, you have to push through it. Um, there's going to be times you don't want to eat. There's going to be times that you hate it. There's going to be times that they feel so foreign in your mouth that you just want to go without them. But you have to make sure that you push through it and you eat with these. And then sooner or later, they'll feel like your teeth. Um, to be honest with you, the upper feels like mine. The lower, I can, I can tell a difference. Um, so, to be honest with you, um, the top does feel like mine. Like, that's not something that... Um, I feel foreign to me. Now, a lower does feel foreign to me just because it's got some rough spots on it and um, it's more of a hassle than my upper. Um, but other than that, everything is great. Um, I'm at church. Um, I am actually decided to join a different church um, than the church that I have been going to. And it's a much better church. Just, It's not so much of a much better church. It's just I feel home here. Um, so I'm about to start my first class on joining this church. Um, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, but, uh, I just kind of wanted to give you all an update. I'm going to do some video in tomorrow during the process of them unscrewing these implants and putting in the jig and what that will all entail. Um, and I'll, I'll make sure I upload that because I know everybody is kind of curious with the bar and what that looks like and all that fun stuff. But, um, I hope you guys are doing great. Um, I have definitely missed making some videos. I'm going to get some videos made. I made a makeup video. Um, it turned out okay. <laughs> but there were, like, some spots. Like, I need to learn how to do some editing. And I promise you, I will put it up on here. Look at this. I have a smile on. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly smiling way too much with these teeth. That I'm starting to cause my own wrinkles. I'm 31. This is not supposed to be happening. <laughs> oh well. But I hope you guys have a blessed Wednesday night. And I will definitely keep you guys up to date on everything that goes on. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.